Hello everybody and welcome back to another video by Blissful Techno Health. This video is lesson 7 in my how to use a computer with Windows 11 for beginners series. And in this video we're going to be talking about how to keep your computer clean from malware and just junk files that you don't need in your computer taking up memory and slowing it down. Now there is a lot of malware or viruses on the internet nowadays. It's really easy to get a virus if you're not careful and you don't really know what you're doing or if you get into places where you really shouldn't be. So I'm going to show you some of the built-in Windows features and how to keep it clean and I'm also going to show you some other um, third-party programs that you can use to help keep your computer clean as well. Now everything I'm going to show you today is free. If they're all free programs, it's free software, things that you can use without spending any money. There are programs you can buy that do cost uh, monthly fees or a one-time purchase for a license. I don't feel that they're really that necessary, but sometimes if a computer gets really infected and a person really needs to clean it up without formatting the whole hard drive and starting over, sometimes those can come in handy. So let's go ahead and take a look. For starters, in Windows 11, you actually have built-in security okay so it's, it's called Windows security and it has its own antivirus um, integrated into the operating system so you can access it typically just by doing a search you can see you know I've searched for mine if you go to search you can just type you know security and you should it should pop up with Windows security settings go ahead and click on that and it's gonna bring up your settings menu you're going to be highlighted here on privacy and security. You want to go ahead and either just open Windows Security or click on Virus and Threat Protection. That's going to open up Windows Security. And you're going to see here that you actually have a tool that you can use. This is an antivirus that is built in with Windows 11. Now, it's honestly not that bad. It's not the best thing on the planet for sure. But, I mean, it does work. I have removed... On computers multiple viruses before using the built-in Windows security granted I have used better programs where they have found viruses that this has not but it's a lot better than nothing now you see here I have my computer it doesn't have much on it it, has, it says no current threats it looks like it automatically did a quick scan the other day and no threats were found the scan only lasted 48 seconds so I don't know what it could find in that quick time the quick scan is basically just going to search for commonly used areas where viruses and malware will put themselves. What you want to do periodically is not a quick scan, but you want to come down to scan options and you're going to see you have a full scan option. You're going to want to run a full scan. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see scan now and you can start that scan and it will run a full scan. Now it could take a while to do the full scan depending on how many files are on your hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this scan for now because I don't want to complete it. But you do want to run a full scan periodically to help kind of keep your computer clean. So this is the built-in free um, Windows protection. Obviously, you've got the Windows firewall and everything built in. But just know that that's here and it is a tool that you do have at your disposal that you can use to help keep your computer clean. Now, if you want to buy an antivirus, you can. But I highly recommend never to buy a Windows secure, or I'm sorry, a virus security suite. You don't want a full protection suite. You just want an antivirus. A full security suite, they're highly invasive. They actually cause more problems than they help with. They're going to cause your computer to run slow. They might actually corrupt some of your programs and cause them not to run right. I've had this happen a lot. Um, so I would recommend just sticking with an antivirus, not a full security suite. I hope that makes sense. Let's go ahead and close down Windows Security since you know that that's there now. And the next thing we're going to look at if you're going to want to clean your PC is come down here to your file explorer, pull that up, and we're going to want to access your C drive, your main hard drive. If I come over here on the left and I hit this PC, you'll see it pops up and gives me um, the C drive down here or you can usually find it over here as well and click on it there. But follow along with me. We're going to go a little deep here into the hard drive. I'm going to go to local disk C. Okay, I'm going to go to users. And you're going to want to open the file that's your username on the computer. <clears throat> if you have multiple users, you'll want to do this same procedure for all of the users. 
So you can see there's only one here for mine, the HM Laptop One. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my user profile. Okay, and you can see there's a variety of different uh, folders here. Now you're gonna to wanna to go to View over here on the top, click on View, and come down to Show. Under Show, you're gonna to wanna to go to Hidden Items. Check Hidden Items, and now it's gonna show folders that don't normally show up. You have to tell them to show up, they're hidden. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to access the hidden folder, and you can see they're, they're kind of, they're not as, they don't stand out as much, they're kind of faded. So you wanna go ahead and open up App Data, okay? So open up App Data, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to Local, and then you're gonna to wanna to come down, it's alphabetical, to your temp folder, okay? You wanna open up that temp folder. Now bear in mind, I don't hardly use this laptop for anything. It's used for very little. You can see there's a lot of temp files in here, even from just the little use that this laptop gets. If you have a computer that you use all the time for a lot of things with a lot of programs, this can get really full. And a lot of times, malicious programs will store themselves in here. But what you wanna do is delete everything in this folder. So I'm gonna hit on my keyboard, Control A. That's gonna select everything. Control A. That will select every file and folder in this location. After that, you can either right click and hit delete or just hit the delete key on your keyboard. When you click on delete, it's gonna start sending things to the recycle bin and you're going to get some of these that are required. It's gonna say, hey, I can't, I can't use, I can't delete this. It's got, it's being used by something. That's okay, just hit skip. You can also hit do it for all current items. Skip, and it'll delete everything that's not in use. Okay, it's important to, to, to go through here and try to clean this up every once in a while because it legit can cause problems. I've seen it many, many times. So just remember how to get to here and what we just did. Okay, so that's an area you wanna keep clean. Now. I did show this in the previous video, but I want to show it to you again, especially if you're a Google Chrome user. A lot of malware will install a program or its own browser, and a lot of times you'll get little tiny things that are just little bugs, little programs that are going to want to change your web browser. If that ever gets changed, you just come up here to settings, to the three dots, and then come down to settings. Go to default browser. I'm sorry, search engine, not default browser. Come to search engine, and you can manage your search engines by clicking there and removing any extra search engines. Now, I'm not gonna go over this anymore because this is in my previous video in lesson six. If you wanna know more, go watch that video and you're gonna get an instruction on how to remove unwanted search engines that may have gotten into your web browser. So this is another area you wanna check. So, so far we've talked about opening Windows Defender, running a full scan, how to clean your temp folder, and also how to keep your browser clean, at least from extra search engines that try to embed themselves into Chrome and take over and to, to be used. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is the Start menu, and instead, right click and go to Apps and Features. Apps and Features is gonna give you a list of all of the installed programs on the computer. A lot of times, malware doesn't hide very well and it is gonna show up as a program that's installed in the computer. There's a lot of lame programs out there that wanna install themselves and you don't want them on your computer. And I'm gonna show you an easy example on how that happens, okay? So let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome. Now you don't have to follow me for this, but I'm gonna go download Adobe Reader. Okay, it's a free PDF program. Now, let's see where they've moved it on their website. Aha! Okay, so here it is down here on the very bottom. You can see we've got featured downloads. I love how they're featured, yet they're tucked away clear in the bottom where they're hard to find. Click on, if I click on Reader, and let's say I go, ooh, yeah, I want Adobe Acrobat, Acrobat Reader DC. It's a free program for viewing PDFs. I actually use this program all the time. It's a great program. 
but let's just follow along here, okay? I just clicked on it, ooh, let's download it. Now, if you're not careful, if you see here, you're gonna get extra stuff. Get more out of Acrobat. Install the Acrobat Reader Chrome extension, and it'll install that extension for you as well, okay? Which, that can be fine, I'm okay with that. But a lot of times when you go to, down, go to download a free program, there's gonna be a lot more that's trying to install besides just a Chrome extension. It'll try to install other programs with it. And a lot of times those programs can be malicious. But let's go ahead and download Acrobat Reader. We're gonna run this installer. Adobe Acrobat is gonna install. Old, new Acrobat version already installed. Okay, whatever. Anyways, you can see there that it was trying to install a little extra tidbit with the Reader DC program, okay? A lot of times, it looks like they don't have it anymore. They used to have a McAfee Secure Scan uh, or whatever, some extra program that you had to uncheck or it downloaded it with it and installed it. I hope that makes sense. So I just wanted to show you an example. Now, they're not all gonna look the same, but you just have to be careful when you're downloading anything free to watch for extra add-ons, okay? A lot of times during the, the installer process as well, after you started installing it, it'll also ask you that questions. Or you have to tell it to show more advanced options to see what it's installing. Now, I know that might be kind of hard to follow along with, but just keep that in the back of your mind for whenever you're in installing a free program. You have to be careful about that. Now, if those extra programs do get installed, you will see them in your apps and features list. And you're going to want to remove them. Now you can see here, I've got the Adobe Acrobat DC already installed. And there's no Chrome extension that I see here. It probably just puts it into Chrome, it doesn't show up as an app. But if it had like that McAfee secure scan, that would also show up here and you can remove it. Now I've seen a lot of programs where people have downloaded them and they've gotten the extra install pro install programs that come with it and you gotta remove them all. Now, there's a really important thing to understand. Yes, you can remove it from here. But I'm gonna show you guys a really awesome free tool that you can use to remove them that's much better than the built-in Windows um, app manager. So go ahead and open up your web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. If I go, if I type Revo uninstaller free, okay? Revo uninstaller, make sure you're on the right website. You've got revouninstaller.com. You can just type that in your address bar instead to be real safe. But you can see if you're on the right one, you can see I've been here. Okay, Revo uninstaller, come to downloads. Oh, I'm already there. Now, I can come over here to the left and you'll see Revo Uninstaller Freeware. Okay, this is a free program. Okay, you can buy the better versions or whatever. You don't really need it unless you're a tech or really know what you're doing. But let's just go ahead and download this free uninstaller. Revo Setup, we're gonna run the file that it downloaded down here in the left. We're gonna run it. Yes, we wanna allow it to make changes. Yes. Ah, uh, sure, I accept your agreement. Sure, give me a shortcut desktop. Okay, nothing, nothing goofy here with Revo, thankfully. Okay, I'm not gonna launch it yet. We're gonna go ahead and hit finish. But here, thankfully, you can see it's not showing any extra weird programs to go along with the free uninstaller. But that is something you wanna check. Okay, so we've installed the Revo uninstaller. Now here's the program. Let's go ahead and run the program. Now, you're gonna have an interface here. This interface shows you all of the programs installed that it can remove. Okay, I don't really have much here to uninstall, but so I can show you, we're gonna go ahead and uninstall a program. Okay, we're gonna uninstall this, my Acrobat DC, so I can always redo it. You highlight the program you wanna uninstall and you come up to uninstall. Click that. Are you sure that you wanna uninstall the selected program? You can make a system restore point before uninstall if needed. I don't need to do that. I know I want this program gone. I'm gonna hit continue. Okay, here is why using, using this Revo uninstaller is good. 
because the Revo uninstaller will actually find leftover files that don't get removed through the built-in uninstall process. Revo is really good at grabbing those extra files that don't get removed during its normal uninstall and it will remove them for you. A lot of times if you go to uninstall a program from using the Windows app, it'll pull the program out but it leaves those files behind. If you're trying to remove programs that are malicious, a lot of times it will leave some of those malicious programs behind. You want them gone. So using the Revo uninstaller is a better way to remove programs that you know are malicious. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. We're gonna remove, it's running the Acrobat DC uninstaller now. So these will look different depending on the program you're uninstalling. Now it's gonna finish this uninstall. Okay, so it finished the built-in un uninstaller through the Adobe program. And now, after the program's uninstaller has finished, press the scan button to start scanning for leftover files. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go with moderate. That's typically the one you're gonna wanna use. Click on scan. We'll see if Adobe leaves anything extra. Look at that. These leftover registry items are still installed on the computer. Now, sometimes it takes a full reboot for them all to go away. So these might have gone away after a reboot, but they also might not have. You want them all gone. You don't want any of that program left. You want to remove the whole program. You don't want it leaving traces. So you click on select all and delete. Are you sure you want to delete these? Yeah, I'm sure. Found leftover files and folders. Select all, delete. Yes, get them out. As you can see, that found a lot more than the built-in uninstaller uses. So that is a good way if you have programs that you know that you did not install or that are malicious or that you just know you want to get rid of, this is a better program to use for uninstalling. I hope you're able to follow along. I know this video is a little more advanced in this last lesson, this lesson seven video. If you have questions, just shoot me a comment down below. Now, you can see up here I've also got a tools option. I can click on tools and I can do a Windows Cleaner, Junk Files Cleaner, Auto Runs Manager. The only one here is a basic user I would recommend using is the Junk Files Cleaner. If you click on the Junk Files Cleaner, you're gonna see you have Scan up here. So go ahead and click on Scan and that's actually going to do a scan for just junk files that it finds in the computer that just don't need to be there, they're taking up space. And it could scan for some time depending on how much it has to scan. So you just have to be patient and wait. Okay, so mine got done running a scan. You can see it did find some junk files that do not need to be there. Okay, so they're all gonna automatically be checked. So you just come up to delete, click on delete. It's gonna clean all those files out of the computer. There are files that are in use by Windows and other program can't be deleted now, that's fine. Those are probably gonna be used for something It's okay. But you can see here, we did just do a basic cleanup on our computer. Now, the uninstaller, coming back here, before you uninstall anything, you wanna make sure it's a program you know you don't want on the computer. If you don't know what the program is, you can always do a Google search on it. If you have a program and you don't know what it is, I've got production server here, let's say, that's not, I don't know where that came from. I can go, well, let's go look up production server. And I go, oh, that's that color gate program that I use. Okay, cool. So you can go, oh, that's right, I wanna keep that. So just do a Google search if you don't know what it is. And a lot of times, if you don't know what it is and you do a Google search, it might, you know, might get some information about it not being good. So it is good to do some research sometimes before you just go removing programs. Okay, so we just went over a basic PC cleanup, how to keep it clean. Okay, you've got this Revo uninstaller you can use. You've got the built-in Windows Defender that you can use. I showed you that temp files directory. I've showed you how to keep your um, Google Chrome to make, sure, to, to make sure you're using the right search engine as those can be overridden and hijacked. If you guys have any questions, please shoot me a comment down below. There's a lot more to a cleanup that we could go deeper, but I'm afraid to go too, too deep because it does get a bit more technical. There are other programs you can use. There is 
a free program called Super Anti-Spyware, free edition that you could use. There's a program called ADW Cleaner that you could use. There's paid versions, like I said before. They're not entirely necessary. If your computer really does get too infected and you are a new user on a computer, you might want to take it down to a computer store and have them do a cleanup for you on it. Regardless, a lot of these things that I've just showed you can really keep your computer clean. If you're just careful on where you're going on the internet, paying attention to the websites you're visiting, if anything looks fishy, just stay away from it. If you get an email from somebody you don't know that's trying to direct you to a download, don't open the email, don't download anything unless you know exactly what you're getting from a family member that sent you something or a friend. Make sure you know what you're downloading. Also, there's a lot of scams out there where it'll look like an Amazon receipt and they'll say, hey, your order on Amazon went through and it, it says like $2,000, you bought something for $2,000 but they're fake. If anything comes through like that, just ignore it. You can try to contact Amazon directly by going to amazon.com. If you just see anything fishy in your email, just, just don't click on it, don't open it. Avoid anything fishy that you do not recognize. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day. Peace out.